Here's a very handsome teapot, made in China too, obviously. It should be made of jade, really, but it's made of a kind of good porcelain. But it's got a very clever trick to it. I thought of using it as a teapot, so why don't we pour some tea? If perchance you wanted some milk, well, we can arrange that as well, if you like. <laughs> so here a bit of stir, a bit stronger tea. OK, a bit stronger tea. Put some more tea in. So what's going on here? First tea and then milk. Well, the answer is really on the back and underneath. That's one hole which covers and controls whatever in the top. In this case, it's milk. And underneath here, hidden where my finger can get and touch it, there's another hole controlling the tea, which is in the bottom layer of the jug. So there's tea at the bottom, there's milk at the top, and depending on which hole I'm covering, it'll give you tea and milk, or tea followed by milk. Very clever. You could have tea or coffee, I suppose, but then maybe you have the milk. But very, very clever idea from China. That's where clever things come from.